most importantly in the fall economic statement, we've ensured that we've got an environment where people can invest to create jobs. We put in place measures to allow businesses to accelerate their investments. That's going to have a big and important impact. Instead of lowering corporate taxes, you've put in place a few measures. What guarantees do you have that these measures will attract investment and keep investment in Canada? We're trying to ensure that uh, our country remains competitive over the long run. Quite clearly, we are in a very good position right now. We've shown a high level of uh, competitiveness because our businesses are doing well, because we've created a, a very significant number of jobs, because unemployment rates are as low as they are. But we need to think about the future. So uh, ensuring that people can make the next investment on a competitive basis is uh, what we need to do, and that's what we've come forward with in these measures. In each of the next four years, the deficit is projected to be bigger than, they, than the government told us just in its recent budget. So it's not just that they shattered their promise, it's that they, are, they go on willingly worsening the financial situation of the country, uh, reckless to the risks associated with it and the costs it will impose on Canadians. Conservatives are calling on the government to finally tell us when if ever, they promise that we will have a balanced budget under the current trajectory they are setting. The Liberal government is giving a $14 billion giveaway to corporations. This giveaway includes money for private jets and limousines, allowances for private jets and limousines. All the while, Canadians are continuing to struggle and there's nothing to address the cost of housing, the affordability crisis, or anything to address the fact that Canadians can't access medicine. It looks like, and it's very clear that, the Liberals are playing Santa Claus for rich corporations and Scrooge for everyday families struggling to get her by.